Example of the Cyrillic script. Excerpt from the manuscript Vinsky Zbornik. Written in 1360. The Cyrillic script is a writing system used for various languages across Eurasia and is used as the national script in various Slavic, Turkic, Mongolic, Uralic, Caucasian and Iranic-speaking countries in Southeastern Europe, Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, Central Asia, North Asia, and East Asia. As of 2019, around 250 million people in Eurasia use Cyrillic as the official script for their national languages, with Russia accounting for about half of them. With the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on January 1, 2007, Cyrillic became the third official script of the European Union, following the Latin and Greek alphabets. In the 9th century AD, the Bulgarian Tsar Simeon I the Great, following the cultural and political course of his father Boris I- commissioned a new script, the early Cyrillic alphabet, to be made at the Preslav Literary School in the First Bulgarian Empire, which would replace the Glagolitic script, produced earlier by St. Cyril and Methodius and the same disciples that created the new Slavic script in Bulgaria. The usage of the Cyrillic script in Bulgaria was made official in 893. The new script became the basis of alphabets used in various languages, especially those of Orthodox Slavic origin, and non-Slavic languages influenced by Bulgarian. For centuries Cyrillic was used by Catholic and Muslim Slavs too. Cyrillic is derived from the Greek Uncial script, augmented by letters from the older Glagolitic alphabet, including some ligatures. These additional letters were used for Old Church Slavonic sounds not found in Greek. The script is named in honor of the Saint Cyril, one of the two Byzantine brothers, Saint Cyril and Methodius, who created the Glagolitic alphabet earlier on. Modern scholars believe that Cyrillic was developed and formalized by the early disciples of Cyril and Methodius in the Preslav Literary School. The most important early literary and cultural center of the First Bulgarian Empire and of all Slavs, unlike the churchmen in Orid. Preslav scholars were much more dependent upon Greek models and quickly abandoned the Glagolitic scripts in favor of an adaptation of the Greek uncial to the needs of Slavic, which is now known as the Cyrillic alphabet. The earliest datable Cyrillic inscriptions have been found in the area of Preslav. They have been found in the medieval city itself, and at nearby Patlina Monastery, both in present-day Shuman province, in the Ravna Monastery and in the Varna Monastery. With the orthographic reform of St. Ishmi of Tarnovo and other prominent representatives of the Tarnovo Literary School such as Gregory Zomblik or Constantine of Kostenitz the school influenced Russian, Serbian, Wallachian and Moldavian medieval culture. That is famous in Russia as the second South Slavic influence. In the early 18th century, the Cyrillic script used in Russia was heavily reformed by Peter the Great, who had recently returned from his grand embassy in Western Europe. The new letter forms, called the civil script, became closer to those of the Latin alphabet. Several archaic letters were abolished and several letters were designed by Peter himself. Letters became distinguished between upper and lower case. West European typography culture was also adopted. The pre-reform forms of letters called were notably kept for use in church Slavonic and are sometimes used in Russian even today, especially if one wants to give a text a Slavic or archaic feel. Cyrillic scripts spread throughout the East Slavic and some South Slavic territories, being adopted for writing local languages, such as Old East Slavic. Its adaptation to local languages produced a number of Cyrillic alphabets, discussed below. Capital and lowercase letters were not distinguished in old manuscripts. A page from the Church Slavonic grammar of Miletius Smotritsky Yeri was originally a ligature of urini. Eotation was indicated by ligatures formed with the letter. Sometimes different letters were used interchangeably, for example equals equals, as were typographical variants like equals. There were also commonly used ligatures like equals. The letters also had numeric values, based not on Cyrillic alphabetical order, but inherited from the letter's Greek ancestors. The early Cyrillic alphabet is difficult to represent on computers. Many of the letter forms differed from those of modern Cyrillic, varied a great deal in manuscripts, and changed over time. Few fonts include glyphs sufficient to reproduce the alphabet. In accordance with Unicode policy, the standard does not include letterform variations or ligatures found in manuscript sources unless they can be shown to conform to the Unicode definition of a character. The Unicode 5. One standard, released on April 4, 2008, greatly improves computer support for the early Cyrillic and the modern Church Slavonic language. In Microsoft Windows, 
The Sugo UI user interface font is notable for having complete support for the archaic Cyrillic letters since Windows 8. The development of Cyrillic typography passed directly from the medieval stage to the late Baroque, without a Renaissance phases in Western Europe. Late medieval Cyrillic letters show a marked tendency to be very tall and narrow, with strokes often shared between adjacent letters. Peter the Great, Tsar of Russia, mandated the use of westernized letter forms in the early 18th century. Over time, these were largely adopted in the other languages that used the script. Thus, unlike the majority of modern Greek fonts that retain their own set of design principles for lowercase letters, such as the placement of serifs, the shapes of stroke ends, and stroke thickness rules, although Greek capital letters do use Latin design principles, modern Cyrillic fonts are much the same as modern Latin fonts of the same font family. The development of some Cyrillic computer typefaces from Latin ones has also contributed to the visual Latinization of Cyrillic type. Letters G, D, I, I crat koi, mi, te, c, b and v in upright and cursive variants. Cyrillic uppercase and lowercase letter forms are not as differentiated as in Latin typography. Upright Cyrillic lowercase letters are essentially small capitals, with exceptions, Cyrillic, and adopted Western lowercase shapes, lowercase is typically designed under the influence of Latin P. Lowercase, and are traditional handwritten forms, although a good quality Cyrillic typeface will still include separate small caps glyphs. Cyrillic fonts, as well as Latin ones, have Roman and Italic types. However, the native font terminology in most Slavic languages does not use the words Roman and Italic in this sense. Instead, the nomenclature follows German naming patterns, Cyrillic variants and cursive forms similarly to Latin fonts, italic and cursive types of. Many Cyrillic letters are very different from their upright Roman types. In certain cases, the correspondence between uppercase and lowercase glyphs does not coincide in Latin and Cyrillic fonts, for example, italic Cyrillic is the lowercase counterpart of not of. Note, in some fonts or styles, I. E. The lowercase italic Cyrillic, may look like Latin G, and I. E. Lowercase italic Cyrillic, may look like small capital italic T. In standard Serbian, as well as in Macedonian, some italic and cursive letters are allowed to be different to more closely resemble the handwritten letters. The regular shapes are generally standardized in small caps form. In Bulgarian typography, many lowercase letter forms may more closely resemble the cursive forms on the one hand and Latin glyphs on the other hand, e. g. by having an ascender or descender or by using rounded arcs instead of sharp corners. Sometimes, uppercase letters may have a different shape as well, e, g, more triangular, and, like Greek delta delta and lambda lambda. Notes, depending on fonts available, the Bulgarian row may appear identical to the Russian row. Unicode approximations are used in the faux row to ensure it can be rendered properly across all systems, in some cases, such as with K-like ascender, no such approximation exists. Computer fonts typically default to the central slash eastern, Russian letter forms, and require the use of open type layout features to display the Western, Bulgarian or Southern, Serbian slash Macedonian forms. Depending on the choices of the font manufacturer, they may either be automatically activated by the local variant local feature for text tagged with an appropriate language code. Or the author needs to opt in by activating a stylistic set SS hash or character variant CV hash feature. These solutions only enjoy partial support and may render with default glyphs in certain software configurations. Among others, Cyrillic is the standard script for writing the following languages. The Cyrillic script has also been used for languages of Alaska. Slavic Europe, the Caucasus, the languages of Idle Ural, Siberia, and the Russian Far East. The first alphabet derived from Cyrillic was Abur, used for the Komi language. Other Cyrillic alphabets include the Molodsov alphabet for the Komi language and various alphabets for Caucasian languages. Cyrillic script monument in Antarctica Since the script was conceived and popularized by the followers of Cyril and Methodius, rather than by Cyril and Methodius themselves, its name denotes homage rather than authorship. The name Cyrillic often confuses people who are not familiar with the script's history, because it does not identify a country of origin. Among the general public, it is often called the Russian alphabet, because Russian is the most popular and influential alphabet based on the script. Some Bulgarian intellectuals, notably Stefan Zanev, have expressed concern over this, and have suggested that the Cyrillic script be called the Bulgarian alphabet instead, for the sake of historical accuracy. 
It must be noted here that alphabet is not the same as script, for example the letter has existed in the Cyrillic script since its very invention and is still used in Ukrainian. But is absent in the modern Bulgarian alphabet, that is Cyrillic is used in Bulgarian, so the accurate name is actually the Bulgarian script. In Bulgarian, Macedonian, Russian, Serbian, Czech, and Slovak, the Cyrillic alphabet is also known as Osbuka, derived from the old names of the first two letters of most Cyrillic alphabets. In Czech and Slovak, which have never used Cyrillic, Osbuka refers to Cyrillic and contrasts with Abeseda, which refers to the local Latin script and is composed of the names of the first letters. In Russian, syllabaries, especially the Japanese kana, are commonly referred to as syllabic as bukas rather than syllabic scripts. A page from, the first Russian language textbook, printed by Ivan Fyodorov in 1574. This page features the Cyrillic alphabet. The Cyrillic script was created in the first Bulgarian Empire. Its first variant, the early Cyrillic alphabet, was created at the Preslav Literary School. A number of prominent Bulgarian writers and scholars worked at the school, including Naum of Preslav until 893, Konstantin of Preslav, Joan Ekazer, and Chernorizets Hervar, among others. The school was also a center of translation, mostly of Byzantine authors. The Cyrillic script is derived from the Greek uncial script letters, augmented by ligatures and consonants from the older glagolitic alphabet for sounds not found in Greek. Tradition holds that Glagolitic and Cyrillic were formalized by St. Cyril and Methodius and their disciples, like the saints Naum, Clement, Angeler, and Sava. They spread and taught Christianity in the whole of Bulgaria. Paul Coverley posits that although Cyril may have codified and expanded Glagolitic, it was his students in the First Bulgarian Empire. Under Tsar Simeon the Great that developed Cyrillic from the Greek letters in the 890s as a more suitable script for church books. Cyrillic spread among other Slavic peoples as well as among non-Slavic blocks. Cyrillic and Glagolitic were used for the Church Slavonic language, especially the Old Church Slavonic variant. Hence expressions such as is the tenth Cyrillic letter typically refer to the order of the Church Slavonic alphabet. Not every Cyrillic alphabet uses every letter available in the script. The Cyrillic script came to dominate Glagolitic in the 12th century. The literature produced in Old Church Slavonic soon spread north from Bulgaria and became the lingua franca of the Balkans and Eastern Europe. The alphabet used for the modern Church Slavonic language in Eastern Orthodox and Eastern Catholic rites still resembles early Cyrillic. However, over the course of the following millennium, Cyrillic adapted to changes in spoken language, developed regional variations to suit the features of national languages, and was subjected to academic reform and political decrees. A notable example of such linguistic reform can be attributed to Vik Stefanovic Karadzic who updated the Serbian Cyrillic alphabet by removing certain graphemes no longer represented in the vernacular. And introducing graphemes specific to Serbian, distancing it from Church Slavonic alphabet in use prior to the reform. Today, many languages in the Balkans, Eastern Europe, and Northern Eurasia are written in Cyrillic alphabets. A number of languages written in a Cyrillic alphabet have also been written in a Latin alphabet such as Azerbaijani, Uzbek, Serbian and Romanian. After the disintegration of the Soviet Union in 1991, some of the former republics officially shifted from Cyrillic to Latin. The transition is complete in most of Moldova, Turkmenistan, and Azerbaijan. Uzbekistan still uses both systems, and Kazakhstan has officially begun a transition from Cyrillic to Latin. The Russian government has mandated that Cyrillic must be used for all public communications in all federal subjects of Russia, to promote closer ties across the federation. This act was controversial for speakers of many Slavic languages, for others, such as Chechen and Ingush speakers, the law had political ramifications. For example, the separatist Chechen government mandated a Latin script which is still used by many Chechens. Those in the diaspora especially refused to use the Chechen Cyrillic alphabet which they associate with Russian imperialism. Countries with widespread use of the Cyrillic script, sole official script co-official with another script being replaced with Latin. But is still in official use legacy script for the official language, or large minority use Cyrillic is not widely used standard Serbian uses both the Cyrillic and Latin scripts. Cyrillic is nominally the official script of Serbia's administration according to the Serbian constitution, however, the law does not regulate scripts in standard language, or standard language itself by any means. In practice the scripts are equal, with Latin being used more often in a less official capacity. The Zhuang alphabet, 
used between the 1950s and 1980s in portions of the People's Republic of China, used a mixture of Latin, phonetic, numeral-based, and Cyrillic letters. The non-Latin letters, including Cyrillic, were removed from the alphabet in 1982 and replaced with Latin letters that closely resembled the letters they replaced. There are various systems for romanization of Cyrillic text, including transliteration to convey Cyrillic spelling in Latin letters, and transcription to convey pronunciation. Standard Cyrillic to Latin transliteration systems include, see also Romanization of Belarusian, Bulgarian, Kyrgyz, Russian, Macedonian, and Ukrainian. Representing other writing systems with Cyrillic letters is called Cyrillization. As of Unicode version 14. 0. Cyrillic letters, including national and historical alphabets, are encoded across several blocks, the characters in the range U plus 0400 to U plus 045F are essentially the characters from ISO 8859 to 5 moved upward by 864 positions. The characters in the range U plus 0460 to U plus 0489 are historic letters, not used now. The characters in the range U plus 0488 to U plus 052F are additional letters for various languages that are written with Cyrillic script. Unicode as a general rule does not include accented Cyrillic letters. A few exceptions include, to indicate stressed or long vowels, combining diacritical marks can be used after the respective letter. Some languages, including Church Slavonic, are still not fully supported. Unicode 5. 1, released on April 4, 2008, introduces major changes to the Cyrillic blocks. Revisions to the existing Cyrillic blocks and the addition of Cyrillic Extended A and Cyrillic Extended B, significantly improves support for the early Cyrillic alphabet, Abkhaz, Aleut, Chuvash, Kurdish, and Moksha. Punctuation for Cyrillic text is similar to that used in European Latin alphabet languages. Other character encoding systems for Cyrillic, each language has its own standard keyboard layout, adopted from typewriters. With the flexibility of computer input methods, there are also transliterating or phonetic slash homophonic keyboard layouts made for typists who are more familiar with other layouts, like the common English QWERTY keyboard. When practical Cyrillic keyboard layouts or fonts are unavailable, computer users sometimes use transliteration or lookalike bullet encoding to type in languages that are normally written with the Cyrillic alphabet. Thanks for watching.